people welcome back to my channel Casablanca Cargo this is Kathy this is very early in the morning it's very chilly I'm wearing a jacket <laughs> it's actually chilly it's uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit um, I almost need a little space heater out here in the studio <laughs> but hopefully as I get going I'll warm up um, okay so continue from the previous Pioneer Woman inspired Traveler's Notebook project. Um, here's the one thing that I left on my desk yesterday and I'm gonna put these to the side because I want to work on the envelopes first. So they have been drying overnight and they are nice and crisp. <laughs> I am nice and crisp and let's see I had them propped up on the glue bottles all night so hopefully they will relax eventually and I'm gonna decorate them now Let's see. First what I'm going to do, they're not too sticky, but what I like to do is take a candle. I've shown this before. And I'm just going to roll it on the Mod Podge. And it will help. The little bit of wax that comes off the candle will help with the stickiness. I'm so cold I'm never gonna stick again are you kidding me okay so there's that one and let's do this one real quick this one something decided huh let's put a little a little bit here this little didn't get I don't know what happened Gremlin came out here in the middle of the night and messed with my envelopes. That's what I'm saying. That's my story. But, there we go. Just a little bit of glue. And all is well. Okay. Now, just glue that corner down again that one come this way and the last one okay all right feels nice feels very nice okay so now I have my envelope and I have reached for ribbons and things that I usually do not reach for <laughs> I have this little spool of a it's, I don't know, woven I guess woven kind of a ribbon I've never opened it and I've had this for I hate to say it years <laughs> I got it at Big Lots, 75 cents. That's that sticker. And it says, favorite things. And I thought, well, that's cute. Why don't I ever, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm not going to get into the philosophy of why have I not reached for these. Here's some uh, gingham ribbon. Here's some Rick Rack. Here's watermelon ribbon. That's another... I think I got this at Big Lots. I haven't been inside of Big Lots in years, so I couldn't tell you if they still have this kind of stuff. I had cut this off for something and I found that in the drawer, so maybe that'll work. And this same, it's uh, grapes. Yeah, grapes. That's cute. 
cute. Look at that. It goes really cute with that purple bird. I think we're going to put that with that. And then I have, I have used this stuff um, in my journal making. I like this. I have different shades of green and I think I have a silver one. So I think I'll probably use this other one that were opened. I don't know where this one came from. Where'd you come from? I think this came from Joanne. I'm sure it was on clearance. I fairly rarely pay full price <laughs> if I can help it. And this is cute. It's pink polka dots. And I think that goes fairly nicely with the flowers and then this is um, this was on a spool probably came from one of the craft stores and I put it on my own spool that I have a die that it's a spool die so I just was wrapping that up because I was trying to organize and put things into one box, you know. And then I have this lace. This is not... This is not... This is... I, <laughs> I took this off of, of a spool and put it on this card I had that had different... It had lace tape on it and I had used that but I kept this here you know I don't know cardboard thingy here's the here it is there's the okay so anyway these are these are things that I normally don't I haven't you know I bought them and then I'm like mm, I don't know but now I'm I'm gonna do it I'm gonna use them so this is going with this purple bird and let's work on there's okay so you're getting that this has got the pink we'll put that with that and we've got the rickrack and the gingham and we've got a watermelon who who should get watermelon <laughs> that's cute i might i won't use this small piece but i might use that We'll just put that over there and yeah so let me create so now it's got Mod Podge on the top so of course the glue now is more important to use like this this works good with um, lightweight stuff and with the fabric then I'm gonna have to use let's see that one's all one I'll use the fabric, fabric, fabri tack, and I want to put. I'm gonna put this down here. Let's see about possibly some of this lacy ribbon. I was thinking last night and this morning about the Pioneer Woman. Um, decor aesthetic you know she's got bright colors but she also has when I look at the things that that have come out um, it's like a 1940s type of feel to it to me so I want I want to kind of uh, go with that now I'm gonna put something around all the windows and I don't know this lace is on the bias so it would go around pretty well maybe I'll do that so I was thinking what what can I do to make it look um, you know in that in that vein of vintage um, you know 1940s looking and yet modern in the colors I think 
in a way. I don't know. They probably had bright colors back then. I'm sure they did, didn't they? <laughs> Um, another glue could be, um, ye old. I don't want to glue this shut. I really don't after all that. Um, hot glue. I don't really like using hot glue that much. Um, I have the silicon, um, uh, you know, <sighs> fingertips that help but I just I don't know I'll use it when I have to see look you want to, I know you want to glue yourself shut I just felt that I felt that within you I have had one cup of coffee but I wanted to get out here and get going so I'm going to let that dry before I cut the snips off. I don't think I would love to turn it, but I'm not sure it's going to stick, but we'll see. Maybe it would. Maybe. Maybe it would. Okay. Um, what else am I going to put on here? Well, that doesn't really go with that. Here's some of the liquor. the nice leaves. That's, that's kind of interesting. I kind of like that. Okay, but I feel like I need to do the window first because if I use this lace, it's going to, it's going to be, you know, dominating. And let's put this down now. <laughs> I cut the tip of this too short when I opened it. So, with that being said, I am going to try this with patience and art glitter glue and see if that works. I'm just going to go around the window. If it doesn't, I'll have to come back in with the fabric tag. But that stuff, you know, it's like a monster. It just, it gets, you know, it has a mind of its own. <laughs> it just, uh, I use it very sparingly. Let's see, where should I start? Let's start down here. Let's make sure. Which way is sometimes I wind it the wrong way back on a you know, there's a inside outside. Sometimes you can tell. Sometimes it doesn't matter, but I think it goes this way, so I'll take it around like this. I might just put some more glue. Since this is stationary. I'm going to put a little bit more, another line this way too, and it'll pick up some of the ruffle, but not too much. It's very quiet. It's Sunday. <laughs> the sun came up, uh, I don't know, around 6. It goes, it goes to bed at like 4.30 now. <laughs> uh, and I went I went to bed pretty early last night comparatively woke up very early couldn't get back to sleep so then I thought well I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come out here and see if I can get going on this now I don't want that to show anymore and I don't want to put anything else around the window so I'll just scooch it up cover up the napkin as best I can and let's see let's cut off 
hopefully I didn't cut too short or too much. <laughs> it's better to cut a little too much than too short. Okay. There we go. Looking all right. And now I am going to put some fiber tack on this part. So it'll stick. See, look at that. The strings. Stringy, stringy. And then if you don't close it up quickly, it likes to bubble. Okay. Tuck that in. Put that down. I don't want to make it too um, three-dimensional because I don't want it to stick out too much in the I don't want it to bulk up the journal too much. That looks cute though. Oh, I like that. It's really cute. Okay. Let's see what else. We've got the green and the purple. I don't know. Is it too much with this now? Put it up there. I don't know. We'll put this one to the side while it dries. And I will go on to the next one. <clears throat> okay, so this one has been designated watermelon. I'm going to put that down there. That's cute. Definitely want to use, I think I might use the leaves and the watermelon. Take this off. Maybe not the leaves because this is, I did just notice this. I have some of this gingham. That's cute. Okay, and what? I put around the window. I like these leaves, but they're really, I don't know if that would work. If they would glue down without the glue seeping out. But it would look really cute though. Oh gosh. I can try it. I'll try it. Let's put this down here first. The one that I need to fix a corner. Nope. Okay. My husband is out riding his bike, getting his exercise. It's very foggy out. So he has said he will stick to bike paths. <laughs> It's not that I think he's a bad, unobservant, you know, he's very observant, especially when he's riding, but it's the people that are driving on their way to work, half asleep that I'm worried about, not being observant. But, um... texted him and told him I'm coming out here. I didn't tell him it was cold though. I didn't realize it was so cold out here. But I'm not too bad now with my jacket. And moving my arms helps my hands. Okay. Actually, if I use this this lace, I could put the leaves over it maybe. Oh, this is really big though. Yeah. 
and it's it's really big. No, too big. This one might work again. A little lace. A little lace, a little leaves. Put that over there. I think I kind of like it, and then it gives the leaves something to grip onto. <laughs> but first, what about the gingham? Yeah, but what about the gingham? Let's put another layer. Let's layer it up. Just just for fun. And let's see, I don't know. I'm going to use this. I'm just real, you know, that Fabri-Tac is just, this, this is every once in a while we'll just decide to, you know, come all out at once. <laughs> Ever since I've been refilling it. The glue has acted differently than the original, even though I've been refilling it with supposedly the same glue. Yeah, I'm not saying anything, you know. And there we go. That looks cute. So. Should I risk it just with the leaves or should I put the lace and the leaves? Tell me right now. <laughs> Operators are standing by. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to set you aside while I sit and thinks. Okay, so it'd be like that. That's actually that with the with the yeah. With the leaves over the lace. I like it. So now I gotta figure out this one the kink. See the first the first turn seems to be right here. odd. Oh, I guess that's because it was been wrapped around that spool for years. I decided to let's cut this little bit, this little bit off. So I can start where I want to start, not where you want to start. Okay. Okay, here we go. Don't get scared now. So last night <clears throat> I watched the live action Dumbo movie. We have Disney Plus for the next, I don't know, five days. <laughs> so I'm trying to watch everything that I was interested in watching before it goes away. And we watched, let's see what we watched on there, The Mandalorian. I'm going to cut up on that. And that's my, my husband is the big Star Wars fan. He loves Star Wars. I'm more of a Star Trek. And I guess. And I have watched Star Wars. I just, I liked the three original movies. I didn't care for the newer, the newer ones. The Mandalorian was okay. 
is all right. But um, I don't really like the, the new Star Trek movies either. But I watched them, you know. But I do like... I like the original Star Trek. I, I'll, I'll, you know, the, the, it's playing everywhere, all <laughs> the original series. It's like you can find it on just about any streaming channel. And sometimes when I'm, when I'm working and I just, I need to concentrate on what I'm working on, but I don't want to have to concentrate on a story. I'll just put on the original series and let that run in the background. I like, I don't know. I like to, I don't know, it's just, you know, meh, mindless, you don't have to think about it. I already know what's going to happen. Yeah. There's that. A little bit of lace right off of there just really, that just pulls it all together, doesn't it? Okay, so while that is setting and sticking to me, I found another one of these um, spools of these leaves that I re redid and I had, it goes this way. So you can see the, the veins are a little bit more pr prominent on this side. I had re, re wound it the wrong way so every time I pull it off the spool you know you know what I'm gonna use the fabric tack because I just feel bold now <laughs> oh, oh man I hate this stuff no I didn't say that I didn't mean it don't don't start don't start messing up I didn't mean it look at that look at that it's just gonna it's like I want to every time it does the stringy stuff I'm like oh now it's just going to be a snot in it <laughs> oh this is this I'm just going to poke it down push it don't cover up my window too much So I'm going to put stuff in the envelope, but that looks cute, it looks cute. Oh, I watched um, on the Disney Channel. I don't know if you've watched the, um, are you going to turn or are you going to give me a hard time? You know? You're going to give me a hard time. So guess what? You're getting snipped. Um, I watched, years ago, I watched uh, Once Upon a Time on television. And I always wanted to watch Once Upon a Time Wonderland, but I can't remember why I couldn't watch it. I think it was around the time we got rid of cable. And um, we just watched Netflix, I think. That's how it went. I don't know. Back in the olden days. How was it back in the olden days, ma? Um, how far did I go with that glue? Did you see? Where did I end? I don't know. Um, yeah, so I didn't get to see Wonderland. It's that it was a spinoff with Alice grown up and returning to Wonderland. So that's on Disney Plus. And you snot. And um talking to the glue. I don't want it to get in that window. It just wants to go there. Um ugh. Yeah, hold on, excuse me.
Um, yeah, so last week, as I was working, I turned that on and, you know, binge watched as one does now. Oh my. But it was, I liked it. I thought it was cute. Oh, don't everybody just get in the glue. And I'm just going to keep using this pen. It's got very sensitive skin and although it's fun to peel glue off, <laughs> tried glue, I can't, I mean, my skin can't take it anymore. Uh, yeah, so I, I been, binge watched that and that was nice to be able to do that. There we go. Oh, look at that. That looks kind of precious, doesn't it? Well, I like it. I don't know. I think it turned out pretty good. And hopefully, wherever that glue is, we'll just do that. Well, um, I thought that the, the lead actors did a, a really nice job in... And, um, the, the other actors too. I mean, everybody was just acting their hearts out, you know, so I kind of, I, I'm sad that it only had, I think it was 13 episodes. We'll set you aside to dry now. You know, they did conclude the story, so that was nice. I always, I mean, ugh, you know, when you watch something and the network, I'm talking to you, you know major networks <laughs> they decide well this isn't making us money and they just you know pull the plug and nothing I mean okay here's one example um, a few a few years back uh, there was a show called the river I believe and it was the Amazon River and this uh, young man was going down the Amazon or up the Amazon or however you get around the Amazon on this sort of steam boat to look for his father who was lost in the Amazon and there was other characters and stuff and the things that they had to do well <laughs> the network it was on decides to just you know, well, yeah, you know, I, I guess I was the only one watching it because they just pulled the plug on it and those poor people to this day are circling the Boreo. <laughs> they are still on the Amazon. They never got off of there. <laughs> That's how I like to think about it. They're still there. They're still stuck. Circling and circling. And that was a, that was sort of like the premise of the of the story, it was like there was no way to get out of there once you got in. It was like the uh, Bermuda Triangle of the Amazon. It just like once you got in there, the Borneo, as they call it, would not let you go. And that's where they are, just circling and circling. And it's the same way with a really old show now. This is probably. 30 years ago with Bruce Greenwood and he took his character was uh, I forget which Asian country but it was during a war and he took pictures top secret pictures and um, he was trying to get them I don't know I'm probably messing this up now but I think he was trying to get them published or something and he would mail this is how old it is <laughs> he developed the pictures and he mailed different you know like 10 different envelopes to different general deliveries of the pictures of the printed pictures all over the country and then he would go from you know one thing to another and he would go to the 
the post office and you know pick it up in some some weird name that he came up with well that never had a conclusion either I, I don't think uh, maybe they did come back and conclude it but by that time um, I think again I didn't have cable <laughs> I didn't see the ending but they may have concluded that but at the time they just you know canceled the show and that was it now I really would like to use some of this larger oh but it's so it's so large but I actually think it goes all right with this pokey dot and what are we gonna put with the polka dot I really like this color and that is unusual. I'm going to put that down. Yeah, this is thin. I'm going to put it with this. I'll just put it on the top of this. Yeah, so I just, and then, and then on Netflix, we were watching the Lost in Space TV series. And, oh, well, that's, that's, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to cancel it now. And I think so many people got so upset because, you know, just, you know, get them to where they're going then. That they actually did <laughs> make one more season to conclude it. And we haven't watched that yet, so please don't spoil me on what happens. <laughs> where are you, Glue? I don't feel you. Or gripping. You're not gripping the rick rack. Well, anyway, that's my pet peeve for, for today. I have a feeling I have to come, come back with fabric tack on this one, unless it will just hold now. So I'll just cut this here. Oh, it's just flipping off. Look at that. No, I didn't. I didn't say it. It lifted off. <laughs> to cut that out um so here we go please don't snot up until i can lift the bottle off thank you very much if you have any fabric tack tips to tell me please tell me maybe i have to put this in a different bottle i don't know Oh, so yesterday, or on the previous video, I'm going to try to get this up later, I mean, on Wednesday. But on the previous video, I said we were going to make blueberry, blueberry, <laughs> blueberry burgers, no, blue cheese burgers. See, look, I can see that fabric tack. Ugh. Um on the grill well when my husband came home he had gone like to all these different stores and he was tired he was too he was really tired he went to bed really early so i said that's fine so we ended up ordering takeout and um we'll get to those i'll just what i'll do today because it's so cold <laughs> I'm just going to make the burgers and put them in the oven and I'll probably make some home fries, home fries, not really, oven fries, that's what I was looking for, that's the word. So I'm going to check this, make sure, I just, I mean, that's just the thing, you know, I don't like the seeping out and then you can see it. Okay. Yeah, I'll just make some some oven fries to go with it and just bake them in the oven and that's nice. We like we like to we like oven meals <laughs> or crock pot meals where we don't have to stand over the stove. And well, all right now. Like that. 
but see, it, even even the curving part is too. It's not going to work. Too big. I'm sorry, you're too big. I'll have to use you for something else, unless I have an idea. But first, let's put this one around. You know, well, don't, don't get all smart now and think you can just cut it and have it be the right length. <laughs> because you know when I do that. This one, I'm going to use this. Um, when I go to cut it, I'll cut it too short, so I'm not going to even try. Just loop it around. Yeah, and I'll even put a vegetable in the oven to steam it. Just put it in there with water and a lid. Or if we have, I don't know, I think we might have Brussels sprouts. I can roast some Brussels sprouts. That's, that's always nice. Oh, I have, I have plans now for dinner, but I've been up since 4.30. So, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens probably in the next bill. So, I never did make those... <laughs> I never did make those cheeseburgers like I said it was. But, I don't know. Hopefully it'll work out. They're not too... I mean, once you get them made up and put them in the oven, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that hard. Mm-hmm. Yep, so there we go. That's gonna work, I hope. It's just so cheerful. Fabric tuck. Here I come to save the day. Why did I go all the way over there? I don't know. Ugh. I don't know. Because now, look at that. Now I've messed it up. Too much. Get off my finger. Alrighty. Well, I'm just going to use some more grit. I like all this concentrated color. It makes me happy. So I'm going to start this part. Take it over because I may have to cut through these. Oh, get no, 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 get off, get off my window. I did so much to protect these windows when I'm doing them. The forces they are against me. Okay. Ugh. I have in my possession a set. Is that gonna just cut it? Of Pioneer Woman dishes and That's that's it. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for sharing. <laughs> but um, they're just so pretty, and I have um, a couple of salad plate in that cobalt blue pattern. Okay, just 
just concentrate now. You just want a little bit of fabric track to get these leaves down. And I didn't really know, I mean I kind of knew, but not really, <laughs> how popular Pioneer Woman was until I was looking, I was looking for a new set of dishes last year because, you know, we, we were all, you know, stuck at home for so much that you get tired of looking at the same scratched up plates. <laughs> yeah, are you going around? And, um, I found a set and they were actually on sale online. And oh, these are really pretty. I like I like this. You know, I like the. Hold on, I have to concentrate. Please hold. Let's see how it wants to just fly off that way. <laughs> you see what I'm working with? I'm gonna cut that. Um. And I'm gonna put you. I'll show you. I'm just going to put some of this glue down here and then I'll show you how much I just think of you. Yeah, so I got the set and then picked up a couple of those. I can't even tell you the name of the set. That's how bad I am as a devotee. I guess I'm not. And anyway, they're very nice plates, so I'll just say that. But I see now that there's like people that really love everything and they just have so much of the Pioneer Woman. But I do have, I do appreciate her, um, you know, design. Look at that. Now, you tell me. What do you think? I think that's adorable. And it's not too messed up. <laughs> okay. Let me put this cap on before this starts bubbling up like some sort of weird, you know, lava thing. And then I have to close this or it's like, oh, I have too much air. I have to bubble up. I don't know what to do. Okay. Let's set this aside to dry. Now, which one was first? This one. Let's come back. Now you look real, real plain without the green, huh? I'm going to put some green on this one. Why not? Where did I put the... Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. See, it's stuck to my fingers and... No. <laughs> All right. Once more with feeling. Let's see if I can do this. I looked for... Pioneer Woman junk journals, you know, on Pinterest and online, and I didn't really see any. I saw like uh, fabric covers for composition notebooks on Etsy and things, but I was like, okay, so I guess I'm, you know, can't can't find anything, so I'm just gonna just gonna, just gonna go go on my own. Try to figure this out. But if you have seen any um, and you would like to send me a link, you can send me a link or tell me where to look. <laughs> and I will I will I will Google. I will Google. Alright. 
got glue on it. Yeah. Um, just to see, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm thinking in my mind, it's like, well, like I said at the beginning of this, it is bright, happy, cheerful colors with some, you know, that, um, what was that? Is it Bakelite from the 40s? Kind of looking thing, but just, I don't know, it's pretty, and I love bright colors, so, so in conclusion, here we are. So here we go. Yep, yep, yep. No. This one aside. I didn't use this stuff or the game, so that that will be for something else. Because I think these look I don't want to cover up the little I mean, I did go to all this trouble <laughs> to get these napkins on these envelopes. So I don't want to cover up every, every image and every bird. So we're just going to let that dry. And then I don't need to show you this part, but I am going to, once they've all dried and set, I'm going to turn this ribbon to the back. That'll be a nice finished edge. And then these go into the journals, but they're going to be glued in like that. And then things, the things, <laughs> whatever the things are, will go in there in the side. And then the journal um, pages and things will keep, keep the uh, hopefully we'll keep the contents from coming out of the envelopes that and as they are in the journals they'll flatten um, you know they won't be glue jar puffy <laughs> but anyway Thanks for joining me today if you haven't subscribed yet please do I'm gonna finish this project because I have it in me now that I have to finish things that I started <laughs> in the craft room so if you want to see more of this uh you know apparently hit that bell subscribe and if you have subscribed thank you so much um i appreciate it it encourages me to know that you're out there you're watching and um you know keeps me keeps me encouraged and keeps me going and if you have any suggestions um so what i'm doing here with this pioneer woman if you love pioneer woman and you've got some ideas uh to help me out please leave a comment because like i said i i i couldn't find anything online so if you have any insight into the aesthetic of the pioneer woman um please share Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>